Greetings fellow conspirators, Mortars Vale here, and welcome back to RimWorld. On the last episode of RimWorld, we basically just set the game up, made a new world, and got everything just the way we like it, all the settings figured out, and I actually delved a little bit too much into gameplay than what I originally wanted to do. Um, this episode is going to be about the first things that I tend to do when playing RimWorld, although I'm sure that better players out there have better strategies than me. But first up, we are paused, so I want to explain. I want to get some things sorted out. Structure. We need a room and a bed. Well, actually, we need three beds because we have three colonists. And uh, that's where they're going to sleep. We also need a steady supply of food. And we want to get the infrastructure for the rest of the game sorted out right now. So that's what we're doing. We have these two working on the food. We have Hilda here working on the mines. I might... Let's see, she's the only one who's not hauling. I might get these guys to prioritize the hauling right now, because we do want to get some of this other metal up here. Um, I think just the metal, though. No silver. Uh, well, we do need the food packages. All right, I want them to get the food packages and the metal. So I'm going to ask them to put hauling, because right now they're prioritizing growing over hauling. I'm going to say prioritize hauling over growing. And that should... Get at least one of them. Yeah, okay, so she's hauling. Diva's hauling, she's growing, and Hilda is mining. Sweet. So we have that going. We can speed the game up a little bit if we wish by doing this. Okay, alright. She's bringing the wood over. Wood is not necessarily necessary. <laughs> necessarily necessary because uh, it's only 45 degrees outside, which is a bit chilly. Um, and Celsius, that's actually going to be, let me see here, if we go to menu, options, I can switch it to Celsius. It's going to be 8 degrees Celsius for those of you who are not in the U.S. I tend to use Fahrenheit, though. Um, so, it's a bit chilly, but they can survive because if we look at their gear, you know, they've got some, um, oh, wait, well, never mind. She doesn't have any, any clothes. Thoughts? Okay. So she doesn't have any clothes. That's not a good thing. Um, Diva, what do you have? I, yeah, she has clothes. Mm, okay, that's going to have to do for now. I didn't see any clothes elsewhere, so yeah, that's that's just going to have to wait for now. Plasteel, nice. That's actually a good thing. Alright, anyways, we're going to continue on here, letting them do their thing. Um, Alright, here we can go ahead and start building the room. How much metal do we have? Uh, if we look up here in the top right, we have 262 metal, which is enough to get some stuff going. So, let me see. I want to go to Architect, and I want to build a steel conduit wall. Now, this is more expensive than the regular steel wall, but um, this... It only costs one more extra steel, and it gives you power. So this is, well, it doesn't give you power, but it allows you to move power around. So this is going to be uh, the better option, I believe. So let's see. Let's come out to here. Build that out. Okay. And for right now, let's just put the door there. And actually, tell you what. We should probably bring that through, because I'm going to mine all of this out. So this is going to be our room that we're building. So Hilda's constructing it. You can see that lines up. Cool. Now the one more thing that we want is a steel auto door, and I'm going to put that right there. And this will be our first original room, I suppose. Um, that's where we're going to put our sleeping spots and our beds and all that, all that stuff, that lovely necessary stuff. Um, let me see, make sure all of this metal is unforbidden so that way she can actually pick it up and move it. I'm going to leave the silver for now because we can use it for um, building stuff, but I tend to use it for currency more, and we don't need currency right now. What we need now is the metal in order to build stuff like the walls and like power. That's the other thing that we want right now. Let me see, how much is a solar generator going to cost us? 80 steel, I can swing that. Let's see. I'm going to start putting them like here, I think. And we just need one for right now. 
um, but power is going to be pretty important to us. So this is why we want conduit walls, so we can you can actually see this once the uh, the steel or the solar generator gets built, we actually get to make power, and that goes through here. So it's pretty cool. Okay, moving around along here, steel. We are still have almost 300 steel, so that should be enough, I would think. Hilda's doing a good job building. Night is falling. Satsuki is making the food. Diva, what are you doing? Okay, she's eating food. Fair enough. Alright. And the door is... created. And I think they can still get through this. Um, so it's a... See the little um, symbol that says... Hey, we don't have power. That means they don't have power, duh. Um, but that's okay. I think we can still use this. So this is now a room. You can see the little message over here that said, hey, you don't have a room. It's gone. But we still don't have beds. And let me see. What are your thoughts? Eat off the ground, cold. Okay. Nobody's tired yet. However, uh, they will get tired eventually. So if we go to architect and furniture, right now, we just need a sleeping spot. And we're going to... Make three of them. They're just going to be, I guess, over here. One, two, three, like that. And if anybody gets tired, they can go over there and sleep for now. We'll eventually want to make some more beds, um, or make some beds, and have people be able to sleep in those, and that'll make them much more comfortable. But you can see right now, she was tired. She went over there and slept. Cool. Okay, she's going to be a level, a level eight grower soon which is nice awesome okay and she is working on the solar generator or chopping down trees for the solar generator she is carrying over the metal things are looking all right we have some wild game over here some buffalo some elk those could be useful later on um, but I'm gonna kinda leave them alone for right now And just work work on our base here, because we really want to get this thing figured out before too much time passes. We can speed this up, because they're just going to be sleeping. Not much going on right now. Geysers erupting. Auto saving. And... Okay, oh. Alright, so now you can see their names are red. So that's probably not a good thing. What is going on with you? Extremely hot. How's your health? Heat stroke. 40 degrees. Oh my goodness. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I I actually I've never built a thing with a geyser inside, but I'm assuming that makes things hot. That makes tons of sense. Alright. Need a new room. Or what can we do here? Let me think, let me think. The problem is that inside, if you look over here, and this here, so where my mouse is, it's outdoors, 40 degrees, it's fine. But then immediately, once you get indoors, it's 146 degrees Fahrenheit, which is way too hot. Um, and that's because we have the steam geyser inside. That was my bad, I forgot about that. So what do we want to do about that? We can make another room. That's probably our best bet. Okay. So, let me see here. I guess I want something to be mined out. I want this to be mined out. And I want you to prioritize that. And she will. Alright, come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hilda, do not do that. I want you to mine... well, whatever. Let's... Is that gone? Okay. Alright, they're outside. They still have heat stroke, I think, but that's going to be okay. She's going to mine this out. And... Okay, so now this is outdoors because it's open to the air. So now it's much cooler in there. They can still sleep in there. And... That should be fine, but we do need to <laughs> do need to work on that. So that was that was a kind of a stupid mistake, but hey, that's how things go. Yeah, that's that's part of the reason why I like this game so much. There's so much detail in everything. It's it's like Dwarf Fortress, but 
it's so like you have to plan for every single contingency and it's it's uh it's complicated it's definitely complicated all right i want you to mine that stuff hilda are you gonna do that yes you are sweet and diva's still carrying over the metal which is great we have seven meals uh, which is not as many as there could be but we do have more unforbidden over here so she will come and get those but I want to unforbid those as well. Right now, Diva's basically her only job is just to run back and forth and cart things over. Whereas Hilda's job is to mine this place out so we can make a separate room not connected to there that will um, that will be our sleeping quarters. Okay, so right now they're not getting heat stroke because inside it's it's still it's cold. It's 37 degrees, and Hilda. She's got to be freezing to death because she doesn't have any clothes. That's just how it goes. I'm kind of surprised we haven't been attacked yet. Um, but don't worry, never fear, it will be coming soon. Need meal source, you're right, we do. However, we are getting these potatoes. So that's fine for now. Um, I do need someone... Ah, this is the problem. There's so many things that need to be get done all at once. And I can't... I can't do them all. Alright. You go there. Somebody somebody take care of that. Who's is somebody prioritizing hauling? I guess Satsuki went ahead and sowed the entire field with potatoes. So they're growing, so she can't do anything here now, so she's gonna help with the hauling stuff, which is fine. Because that needs to be done. And we have eighteen packaged meals, so that's okay. Need defenses, need batteries, yes, of course. Ooh, and it's Satsuki's birthday today. She turned 18. Hey, congratulations. Have a potato. <laughs> Alright, so food, batteries, defenses. I know. I know I need defenses. Oh, is this made? Ah, it is made. It's cool. Alright, let's see. Um, Hilda, I need you to mine out that part as well. There's a lot of mining to be done. A lot of mining indeed. Okay, but you can see the solar panel is filling up with energy, and the door is actually powered now, which is cool. Uh, we want to put a battery in here, because the, the good thing about solar panels is that they give us free energy during the day. The bad thing is that during the night we don't get any energy. So we need somebody to construct a battery there, and actually two. If you could do that, Hilda, that would be fantastic. So we have a battery. That's going to store up power during the day. All right, somebody is visiting. Jump to location. All right. She is visiting. She has a pistol. She's not here to attack us. Um, she has... <laughs> she has clothes, which is great. Okay. Alright, she would be a great colonist. Unfortunately, she is from... The, she's a, a Ludite rebel, or she's from Gaiety's Rock. So the problem is, if we wanted to sort of uh, coax her into uh, being a fellow colonist of ours, then uh, we'd have to capture her, keep her prisoner, and it would they would not make the uh, that community happy with us. So we're going to kind of leave her alone for now. And just let her wander around. There are more ways to get more colonists, but um, we're gonna leave her alone. Okay. Let's see. It's June, so this is about as warm as it's gonna get. Hello. No, no, no! Don't, don't use our door. That costs electricity. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a rabbit. Hmm. Ah, we don't have, we don't have the technology to make the stuff we need to make. That's okay. Uh, ooh, one more thing. I want to make sure that this is a no roof region. So we don't want there to be a roof over that solar panel because if it's there's a roof over it, it's not exposed to the sun, obviously. Okay. They're done with the mining. Great. Let's get a... Where do we want to put it? Let's get a dumping stockpile. So this is going to be for all the stuff that we don't really want. 
and we're just going to put it down here. That's fine. And I want people to grab these extra boulders in here and put those down there. Okay, so they're doing that. Varky's just kind of moving around. A solar flare has begun. Alright, so that shuts down electrical devices. That's okay. That is okay. Um, because we're not really using power for anything. Uh, what we do want to do, though, is separate these walls let's see there and get a, a door in the middle there okay she's working on the door nobody's idle good we need defenses uh... what's this local squirrel has gone mad where is he he's over here uh... he's probably gonna attack us soon Let me see here. Okay. Uh, time to make some defenses. It's probably past time, but whatever. So if we go over here to security, we can make a turret. I guess there's a pretty good range. Yeah. This this little shelf of rock is really blocking some, some area, but that'll be fine. And where's Hilda? I want you to prioritize working on that. Because that's the, the important thing right now. Where's the... Is the... Wait, where's the squirrel? Things went down to regular speed, so I know that somebody's attacking someone. Wait, who? Hilda? What's wrong? Oh, did she... She's getting attacked, okay. I was hard to even see the squirrel. So yeah, she's getting attacked. Tell you what. Here's our first combat. We're going to draft her. And I want you to melee attack the squirrel. I also want you to melee attack the squirrel. And you to melee attack the squirrel. I'm not saying fire at the squirrel because it would probably... They'd probably miss and hit Hilda. Okay. You're all good. Back to regular scheduled duties. Hilda, how wounded are you? Okay, so she got bit in the neck in the torso, a scratch on her arm and leg, and a bite. So she's bleeding. Um, Hilda, can you... No, you can't. Huh, alright. Um, alright, probably gonna be the last thing for today. Let's go ahead and make a a real bed. Put it in here. And I want you... Can you do that? Do that right now. Okay, don't don't worry about that. There's there's a lot going on here, guys. Too much to explain right now. Okay, the squirrel's dead. You're, you're fine. Um, unforbid that. Okay, that one girl's leaving. That's fine. Bye! She's harvesting potatoes. That's cool. Oh, okay. Uh, cargo pods crashed nearby. Jump to location. They crashed inside the building. I don't believe you. Marble blocks. Okay, that is not useful for us right now. Alright. Let's get back here. Please, somebody make that bed. Do not be a fool. No! Okay, look. Alright, here's the problem. Hilda is still bleeding. Pretty soon, she's going to, um, have blood loss. So somebody needs to make this this bed so that we can treat her. Please do this. Please do this for me. Please. Okay, never mind. Hilda's just gonna go ahead and make that. Is anybody okay, Hilda's gonna make the bed. Fine. Hilda set his medical. Hilda, rest until fully healed. Suzuki. Nope. I want you to Actually, no. Diva. Oh, she's not a doctor. Okay. Are you... Yeah, dude. Go ahead and be a doctor. Um, Diva, I want you to heal... Well, first feed her, then heal her. Alright, so we're going to use these med packs that we have to first feed her. First, we're going to feed her with a regular pack. Okay, so that way she's not hungry. Thoughts... Alright, wounded in darkness, blah 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 blah. Yeah, you're fine. Whatever. Don't be don't be a wimp. And now 
Okay, she's doctoring her. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we should see if we look under health. Alright, she's been all bandaged. All bandaged up, which is great. So she should be fully healed pretty soon. Okay, that could have been worse. Could have been better, but it could have been worse. Uh, let's go ahead and put a put another wall in here. And actually, I'll tell you what, guys, that's probably been enough for this episode. It's it's an exciting game, is it not? There's so much that needs to be done, and it all needs to be done right now. Right at once. Uh, these are going to spoil soon. Man, so much to be done. So much to be done. Okay. So these people are visiting. They're not attacking us. That's okay. Um, and again, we don't want to do anything with those. So yeah, anyways guys, that is it for this episode. We've survived the attack of the Mad Squirrel. Um, yeah, things are, things are not going too bad, but rest assured they will go badly soon. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.